You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about Brittany Griner and her negotiations uh, along with Paul Whalen for her release the U.S. a few weeks ago. And it was just rumored that they had offered up Victor Bout, the merchant of death, in exchange for Brittany Griner. But then we found out Saturday, CNN broke the story that Russia had actually asked for a convicted murderer out of Germany. Well, that story got updated this morning. And I've got to tell you, there's some things in here that don't sound good for Brittany Griner or Paul Whelan, frankly in getting released anytime soon from Russia. So we're going to take a look at that. And very quickly, uh, I will just, I'll set the table so people that didn't see that first video, they will know exactly what's going on. Uh, Russian officials requested adding convicted murder to Griner Whalen prisoner swap. Now what this is about... Russian government officials requested that a former colonel from the country's domestic spy agency who was a convicted murderer in Germany last year be included in the U.S. proposed swap for notorious arms dealer Victor Bout for Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan. Multiple sources familiar with the discussions told CNN. The Russians communicated the request to the U.S. earlier this month through informal back channels used by the spy agency known as the FSB. Now, the FSB is kind of what the KGB used to be, that they wanted Vadim Kasikov released. The sources said Kasikov was convicted in December of murdering a former Czechian fighter. Okay, so you're caught up there. Now, let's go down to where the updates come in. Adrian Watson, a spokesperson for the National Security Council, told CNN after this story was published that, quote, holding two wrongfully detained American hostages for the release of a Russian assassin in a third country's custody is not a serious counteroffer. It is a bad faith attempt to avoid the deal on the table that Russia should take. This is not good news. For Brittany Griner. National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Com- Communications John Kirby echoed Watson on Friday, calling Russia's request a quote, bad faith attempt to avoid a serious offer. During an interview with Jim Scudo on Aaron Burnett out front, quote, we urged Russia to take that offer seriously. Quote, It's just that they haven't been willing to faithfully consider or even seriously consider the offer that we put forward. I would not say we've stalled. They asked if the negotiations had stalled. We very much want to see Brittany and Paul come home to their families where they belong. They're wrongfully detained. And we're just going to keep at that work. He's saying... We don't want to say they're stalled, but that's a really, really important line that he, and a direct quote, it's just that they haven't been willing to faithfully consider or even seriously consider the offer. So they're saying right there, they're not, they're not even looking at this bout thing really and truly. They're not seriously considering it. Russia, that is Putin, that is. Asked for a comment, State Department official told CNN in order to preserve the best opportunity for a successful outcome, they've essentially decided to finally shut their mouth, okay? Because, look, the Russian foreign ministry down here said, we strongly suggest to Blinken that the United States should return to a mode of quiet diplomacy in all this. Multiple sources told CNN that even if it is not Kazakov. The Russians will likely demand two prisoners be released in exchange for Griner and Whalen. The Russian government officials have indicated publicly in recent weeks they want the release of Bout and Roman 
Selinsknev, a convicted hacker currently serving a 27-year sentence. Wow. So, this is getting bad because now it looks like Russia is coming back and saying, look, it's going to be a two-for-two swap. It's not going to be a a two-for-one slot uh, a swap. And they're not even seriously considering the original offer. So the merchant of death, as far as Putin is concerned, as far as Russia is concerned, that is not even being seriously considered by Russia. Think about that. Joe Biden, the Biden administration, went so far as to make this ridiculous offer with this highly dangerous criminal and Victor Bout, and Putin is making him look like a total fool in all this because he won't even seriously consider the offer. And look, there are stories out there that it continued to go around from people. There was one I read where the lady said they chased Bout for 15 years trying to catch him. And she's like, no, it's a terrible idea to swap this guy. Of course, we're talking about a basketball player that when she was still here was disrespecting the country by protesting, protesting the national anthem. Trump said there's no way he would do it. I, I don't blame him. I wouldn't do it either. I think it's a terrible trade. Now, former Marine Paul Whelan? I don't know. I still don't know that you can do it at that point. And that's tough for me to say because he served our country. But this guy, this bout, is a world-class scumbag. And their counteroffer was to get this convicted murderer. They're not even seriously considering the original offer is the direct... We would like for them, they're not seriously considering their original offer. Yikes. That's a bad, bad look for Joe Biden and the Biden administration to have put this wildly terrible offer out there for this horrible human being and criminal and bout and then look like a fool when Russia doesn't even consider it. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. God, I wish they quit saying wrongfully detained. I guess they have to. I, it's my understanding they have to in order to negotiate this. But that's not how Russia views it. And I don't think they're happy about that. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.